All right, guys, we just wrapped up day one, stage one, down here in Florida uh, on the Kissimmee chain. Group B is fishing today. I was in group A, I fished yesterday, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to do a little walkthrough on my uh, new Bass Cat Puma STS. The last couple Bass Cats that I've had were Cougars. I love the Cougar. It's fast, it's like having a Corvette uh, and during competition. You know, it's you, you can maneuver it around in shallow water, boat docks, out in big water. It's really, uh, there's not many boats out there that's gonna outrun you. But the Puma STS is, uh, is a little bit bigger boat and it has a, uh, a beam that runs a little bit farther forward. This is a 20 foot seven inch boat and the Cougar is 20 foot four inches. Again, love the Cougar. Uh, this year will determine what boat I run, you know, next year because I, I love the Cougar so much it was a really hard decision to go to this, but I thought I'd try it. I'll let you guys know what I think at the end of the year so far. I'm absolutely loving it. Day one, a competition in it. We're sitting in fifth place, so I'm liking the Puma STS right now. So the STS stands for a soft touch uh, series. It's just a softer ride. It just has that hole that, that handles that rough water um, a whole lot better. It's the same design that they've had on the Jaguar. I ran a Jaguar with Rick Pierce last year. We did like 99 miles an hour in, I mean, a pretty good chop and that thing just, it really impressed me. And then when I rode this, I was really impressed. So the Bass Cat trailer is one thing that kind of goes unnoticed in a bass boat. You know, everybody thinks about the hull itself, but the Bass Cat trailer is one thing that I'm so impressed with. Built really well. Uh, it tows unbelievably good. So I've never had a bass boat that tows quite like this uh, this Bass Cat does, and I know a lot of it's because of the trailer built right there at the Bass Cat plant. They have a pole here, which they were the innovators in this, so you could step up, step right here, and step onto your boat. Well, with the advancement of all these electronics, you know, I run six, so uh, I put an additional trick step on here where to get me off to the side where I can step into the, uh, the boat that way. Up here I have... Uh, three graphs with Bass Boat Technologies mounts. I can't tell you, I can't say enough good about these mounts. Rock solid, built especially for your bass boat. Like this mount was built specifically for the Puma STS. Van got the front end of a Puma, went to work, built a custom mount just for this boat. He took some weight out, uh, streamlined it and man it's he's just got it where you can get the stuff it's just really cool mount again built just for this he's got a single got it for the single double stack or triple stack like I have here right now we have this troll motor on but I'm running a uh, after this tournament I'm going by power pole and we're gonna be putting a, uh, a new power pole trolling motor on there that I'm excited about I'm hearing awful good things about it lighter, faster, stronger, all that good stuff. So looking forward to, to, to running that. And the workhorse back here is the Mercury 250 Pro XS. I mean, I've been with Mercury for most of my career and you know, I just can't say enough about them. Uh, great motor. Bob's jack plate, the strongest fastest jack plate out there. I'm not just saying, I mean, it, that's a fact. So uh, compare the speed, the components, the quality, everything. Bob's is the best. DD26 mean mount. I got the steering locks for it too, but I don't have them on there down here because the ramp is real close. But anytime I'm traveling any distance at all, I have the, uh, the DD26 steering locks on there. Um, again, uh, a double mount at the console, side-by-side, uh, -side, Bass Boat Technologies. I have an additional uh, ball right here that I put a Helix 12 on whenever to have additional mapping. Some lakes we go to, um, I want that additional mapping, and I also have side scan on here for the Helix 2, but I didn't feel like I needed it in, in this tournament. So, great trailer gonna have the best trolling motor in the world already got the best motor and and jack plate 
and power pole blades, eight foot blades. Uh, let's go get inside the boat now and I'll show you a little bit about how I got stuff stored on the inside. All right, as you can see, I don't know if I told you, the Puma 20 foot seven inches, 96 inch beam. And the thing about the Puma STS is this 96 inch beam carries forward a little more, giving you a wider deck than the than the cougar um if you like that tight closer um feel the cougar or the era might be your boat i thought i would try the puma to have a little bit wider deck this year so that gives you a little bit more storage uh capabilities also as you can see man huge rod locker you can fit there's no telling how many rods are in there a uh, bunch of rods go right there i use this compartment just strictly for swim baits you know paddle tail uh vibrating jig trailers all that kind of stuff uh go in this compartment over here i've got just terminal type stuff uh you can walk around look in the back back here i've got this is where i keep you know an extra pair of scissors i keep my hook sharpener right here I've got Phillips and flathead screwdrivers, super glue, die, an extra set of pliers right there. So still enough room in there that if I needed to put something in there, I can. Over here on this rod locker, I keep my soft plastics and I put my rain suit up here, extra line up here, die, uh, all types of dies and some more extra line back up in there. But as you can see, I just keep soft plastics over here gigantic cooler as a step right there which you can also use it as a seat if you're down here working on tackle and then I keep my life jacket right here where I can get to it real quick my hard baits I put my terminal box I lay it flat so I lay it on top and it's simple uh, just set it aside and I can get to all my crankbaits lipless crankbaits top waters uh, all that kind of stuff down through there i just set it right there and i can get to everything is real simple i can add more to that take some away if i need to um yeah that's the front deck we've got a another cooler right here we got storage underneath the seats where i keep my spare prop as you can see i have a uh you want to come down here where you can get inside there I got a DD 26 prop wrench designed by mr. Brett height and DD 26 so spare prop hub assembly kit got a couple of leaves down here we need to get rid of a little block and then I also have storage underneath this seat where I keep tools a hammer you know you just never know when you might need a hammer self-defense from the Loch Ness Monster or something. Gigantic coolers. Uh, just, you know, my goofy Florida hat, a towel, ground boss wipes, pair of gloves, a rain shield. I mean, these boxes are huge. They're a little bigger than the boxes uh, on the Cougar. First aid kit. I have a little cushion for uh, my cameraman to put down here. My cameraman loved me whenever I put that up for him, but you never know when you might catch them pretty good and you got a cameraman, my float device. This is, people ask all the time, that's for our, uh, a stat mount for MLF. So we have good signal all the time, kind of like a Wi-Fi box and that mount goes right there. And, Monster Marine Lithium is what powers this sucker, and I've got more power than I could possibly use in three or four fishing days. Two 36 volt wired parallel lithium batteries, and then I have two 12 volt on the other side lith Monster Marine Lithium batteries, more power than I could possibly use. Look at how Bass Boat Electronics wired this thing. That's about the cleanest wiring job you'll ever see. 
you want a good wiring job, good install, go check out Bass Boat Electronics. All right, that is the Puma STS. Oh, I've got DD26 all over the boat. Mean mount, uh, transom saver, steering locks. I've got the, uh, the prop wrench, like we talked about. I've got the DD26 uh, cable sleeve. I've got the flex route cable wraps. I've got DD26 uh, blinker billets and the box. I've got DD26 spool sticks. I've also got uh, a, a kit that's made for the Puma. Uh, you know, little places where you step right here, just cosmetic pads that I'm going to be putting on there. I'm thinking about going to the DD26 motor cover just to keep scratches off. They're always innovative coming up with new products so I've got a boat full and I still got a couple of things that I'm going to uh, uh, add to it also. So go to DD26Fishing.com. Alright I got to go get ready for day two. Uh, appreciate y'all following along with me. God bless. Good fishing.